This video tutorial for Photoshop is mostly about removing that finger that is propping up the side of the head. But also it is partially a composite because for this particular shot, we um, this was at a workshop and we were not able to find something to weigh the prop down. Um, I know I had taken my my hand weight with me but somehow it disappeared when it came time to uh, start working with the babies and I still haven't found it since so um, we looked around we just couldn't find anything that was heavy enough to weigh the prop down but wasn't so big that it was going to take up too much space in the prop and not leave you know enough room for the blanket and for the baby so what we decided to do instead was use spotters that would hold on physically hold onto the bucket and put um, pressure down on the bucket that way it would act as you know the weight being in the bucket instead we had um, two people that were holding on to either side of the bucket so this hand up here is my uh, spotting hand just for keeping her head upright she was very very sleepy at this point and her head was just kind of wobbly because she was basically like a, a little bowl full of jello. So um, she didn't want to hold her head straight upright, which is fine. Um, it just took one finger from my spotter to keep her balanced and then I could easily take that out in Photoshop. And then this is where she's going to hold this side of the bucket. And then the second shot is going to be where one of the uh, workshop attendees was holding the other side of the bucket. So. I think the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is grab my marquee tool up here and I'm going to address the composite part of this image first. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to go to this image here and I'm just going to grab this side, like right, just like this. And I can either copy it and then go to the other image and paste or I can just simply drag this piece over and drop it. And it'll do the exact same thing. All right. So I'm going to line this up about as best as I can here. And I'm just paying, really paying extra special attention to the details of the bucket because essentially all I really need is just a clean break right over here. I don't need all of this. So I'm just going to try to line this up as best I can. And if for some reason I moved a smidge and I need to rotate this piece to make it line up right, I will. Okay. So I just, uh, what I did, sorry, um, this layer right here, this is this new piece. Once I pasted it or drug it over here and dropped it, this new layer popped up and that layer is this piece. So by turning down the opacity of this layer, I am turning down the opacity of this piece so that I can see underneath it and see exactly where I need to place it. So right now I'm just gonna get it in the general vicinity about as close as I can to where it needs to be so it can line up. And then I think I'm going to go to Edit and Free Transform, and I'm going to turn it just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. There we go. That looks almost perfect. Using my arrow keys to fine-tune, and that, that pretty much looks flawless. Um, all the edges here are lining up. This is even, and then all of these edges and everything are lining up. So that looks awesome. And then I'm just going to take my eraser and... I'm just going to erase the hard line here. Honestly, I can erase probably most of this. And I'm going to erase the hard line that goes all the way up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn my opacity all the way back up. And you can't even notice that I added something new. And then I just want to pay attention down around here because the piece doesn't go off like outside of the frame so I do have a hard line kind of here where the piece doesn't meet the edge so I just want to make sure that I am taking care of that and any other hard lines that could be showing up and it looks great to me okay so I'll go ahead and flatten that so that the composite part of it is done that has been completely taken care of and then the only thing I need to do now is get rid of this hand and just for the sake just for the heck of it I'm gonna go ahead and hit command J and create a background copy over here just in case I need to erase something while I am cloning but I shouldn't it's, it's a pretty uh, fairly simple removal here so when you're spotting a baby like this 
Um, I always tell my spotter to close their hand tightly and then just use the one finger. And I also have them lift their hand upward as shown here. That way their hand isn't pointed down and they're not, you don't see like fingers hanging over top of like my blanket and you know background here, make it an even harder to remove. If I can make it as clean as absolutely possible, all I have to concentrate on really is this little spot right here and then everything else just comes out pretty easily. So right now I'm just going to grab my paintbrush and I'm just going to paint all of that out. And I can go back and blend this later on, but that's not what we're focusing on right now. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And then since I have a background copy, I can paint, I can actually almost paint right up to the baby's head. Make my brush nice and small. And there we go. That was easy peasy. All right, so that hand is gone. And then for this image, the only other major things that I would do, aside from regular post-processing, like fixing the skin, and if I want to add a mat or whatever my style is, um, I would, you know, obviously I'm going to clean up this back here and uh, lower my opacity and clean up these shadowy areas here in the front and then I can lower my opacity even more and clean up this little shadow here but I mean more or less obviously I would do a bit more touch up than that but more or less that is the uh, gist of what I would do to this image but removing that finger was extremely easy now the reason, another reason that it was so easy was because she had her finger lined up flush right here with the side of the baby's head instead of having it up here. If the finger was like right here where you've got hat in front of it but also hat behind it, it makes it a little bit harder to take out. But here it was right flush with the side of the baby's head so it was as simple as just painting it right out. And that is finger removal and a composite.